So when we start talking about balance sheets, we're going to come across this notion of liabilities. And firms have liabilities, and, and the liabilities are X. And if we want to talk about, well, really, what does that mean? So if we put on our finance caps for a moment here and think from a finance perspective, we can see the firm as a collection of assets. right? So the firm is a collection of assets. And then there are claims against those assets. When we can think about liabilities. A finance person might think, okay, these are claims by lenders. And then we can think about claims by, we think about equity as claims by like stockholders or owners of the firm. All right, so owners, stockholders, they have claims against assets. And then lenders have claims against assets. And, and when we think about with finance, we're thinking about lenders, we're mainly thinking about debt. Uh, but but of course there are other claims in that and and when we get into accounting we get into accounting we're going to have a much more specific definition is is what is meant by the word liability and it's going to be a lot more encompassing than than just debt so let's get down to the specific accounting uh, definition and just kind of think about what it means so when we're, if you recall when we talked about assets assets are basically things that provide future economic benefit to the firm. And when we think about an asset or a liability at its at its root level, it's going to be something that requires sacrifice of economic benefit. So it's a probable, probable future sacrifice of economic benefit, right? So you're sacrificing an asset, you're sacrificing some kind of benefit at some point in the future uh, because of some present obligation of a particular entity, your firm or a subsidiary of your firm. And basically, you have to transfer assets or provide services. Do some uh, take some action as a result of something that happened. So when we think about this, these these probable future sacrifices of economic benefits. Well, the thing that that jumps out obviously is is debt. So I'll just put that right here. We think of borrowing, right? So you borrowed money, and that's going to require in the future to sacrifice cash uh, to to pay off that debt. But it's not just debt. We can think about things. Well, on, I, I guess we can think about things on a broad level as like you know borrowing money from a bank, but we can think of other types of debt, maybe as something like salaries, right? When we think about debt, we don't really think about paying our employees, but if we have salaries payable, uh, that that technically that's a liability. As a matter of fact, just about any kind of payable, we think about taxes payable, um, accounts payable, right? When we have accounts payable, we basically tell. Uh, somebody, hey, just put it on my tab. I'll pay you later. I'll pay you in 30 days. Anything payable, these are liabilities as well. Now, we don't really traditionally think of them as debt in the same sense as borrowing money from a bank. Uh, but they're things that are going to require the sacrifice of economic benefits in the future, right? We're going to have to pay cash to our employees uh, later. But there are also other things we can think about that, that, that don't really have anything to do with debt or any payable altogether. Uh, it's just completely different. We think about something called unearned revenue, right? So unearned revenue is basically like, let's say you, you make magazines and somebody pays you $20 for a one-year subscription. So you've got a one-year subscription. Now, you've got the $20. You don't recognize revenue. You don't say, hey, I've got revenue. No, you say this unearned revenue, which is a liability. You recognize that. Even though you don't owe money, Right, no money. What you owe are magazines, right? You have a, a, you have this probable future sacrifice that you have to give. You have to give up these magazines, which are assets. This is economic benefit. You have to transfer or assets or provide services to that subscriber at some point in the future. So that's a liability, even though it's not debt, even though it's not something that's really payable. And, and then there are things that, that might not even be something where you technically owe yet, but you have some kind of probable uh, idea, it's probable that you are going to have to transfer these assets. And we think about something like a contingent liability, right? So if, if, if you talk to your attorneys and you say, well, we've got this, this lawsuit, we've got this lawsuit, and we think that there's a 100% there's a or, or 100%, there's a 90% chance that we're going to lose this lawsuit and we're going to have to pay $50 million. And we say, okay, well, do we have, is, there, is this probable? And can we estimate that there's some kind of sacrifice of future economic benefits for our firm? Well, absolutely. If so, then we have to recognize the liability 
and we call it a contingent liability. So when we think about liabilities, even though in finance we just tend to think of it maybe in terms of debt and uh, what, what lenders, the claims lenders have against assets, well, lenders in this accounting context uh, could be people that we owe magazines to. It could be people that we're going to have to pay uh, money in a lawsuit. It could be employees. Basically, it's anybody to whom we owe some kind of economic benefit. We're going to have to transfer assets or provide services to them in the future. And if we have some kind of obligation like that, then it's a liability.